Hello and welcome to another photography behind the scenes video. It's time again for a misty session out on the countryside. Millie was so kind, as always, to let me borrow her car. As you saw, I found my parking spot for the morning just to the side of the road and I already started shooting in the car simply out the window. And now, finally, I got out to check out the area. Here's the first shot from outside and I'm loving how this session is starting out. The first two photos out of the car were really cool in my opinion and now this is just a continuation of a lucky streak I guess. I enjoy the scene as a whole but additionally it's got many small interesting details such as the signpost and the haystacks to the right. Oh my god this is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah I was pretty excited about the weather conditions. I decided my next photograph was going to be my parking spot. Here it is, I think it turned out cool. The fog is just such a mood maker, and here again I can imagine a story in this scene, thanks to the various details I can see in the frame. After that I wanted to continue across the field, so for that I changed into my hiking boots and headed off. However, before even getting to the field I got distracted again by another potential composition. I waited for a car with orange lights to come around the corner. Here it is. I don't have much to say here, I like it. Then I finally made it onto the field, but I got pulled back towards the road again because I found this road sign and thought it could act as a cool subject. And it worked, I think. I kept the composition very simple, and as you've noticed I've been going for this strong blue editing style, which I think fits these photos nicely. I walked across the field for quite a while without finding anything particular to shoot, then eventually I found something. Guess what? A power pole, my most beloved photography subject as it seems. I got this photograph here which I think turned out nicely. I really enjoy how the photo doesn't have a clear horizon due to the fog. After that, just a few meters further, I decided to stop again and this time to set the camera up on the tripod to do one of those self-portraits I often do. <laughs> oh damn, okay, I like these. Man, mist is just so crazy. Like there is just no way that you get a bad photo when it's misty. It all just looks so dramatic and cinematic. Oh. So you heard my excitement and I'm still super satisfied with the outcome of this photograph. I think it's like straight out of a film. The fog gives this whole place a mysterious feeling, and something I've noticed is that having a human subject instead of an object, such as the power pole previously, can really change the perception of the photo. I find the perspective when looking at the power pole is from a viewer's point, whereas looking at a person switches the perspective from the viewer to the subject itself. I guess I feel more connected to another human being than a power pole, which I suppose is fairly relatable. Nevertheless, I did want to get another photo of the power pole, this time with some leading lines. Then I continued to walk and was about to leave the field, but before moving on I wanted to get one last composition of the power pole. I really like this centered composition, I think it works nicely with this subject. So after shooting that, I came to this road next to a farm and as I got to the bridge, I thought the view from the bridge looks pretty interesting, so I got a photo. This is what I got, I think it's cool. I like how the tractor that was parked there somehow acts as a subject, but apart from that, I think the photograph overall has a lot of small details again to analyse when looking closer. I continued to walk and at the main road I thought this could work as a cool composition with the road adding a sense of depth to the photo. While composing the shot I was feeling watched by this horse to my right that was observing me. Help. So, as you saw, before actually photographing the road, I got a shot of the horse, which turned out pretty nicely, I think. I find the horse to be quite an interesting subject that I'm not used to photographing. 
Anyway, after that I composed the shot of the road again, which I think turned out cool. Interestingly, I usually don't like these pole indicators to the side of the road, but in this scene here, I don't mind them. In fact, I actually kind of enjoy them. Next, I crossed the road and walked onto the next field in hope to find more potential compositions. As I turned around at one point, I decided to photograph the place I just came from. This one, however, didn't turn out so good. The composition is a little unclear here. I think I actually only shot the photo because I thought it'd be cool to get another one with the horse. As I continued to walk across the field, I saw an approaching car in the distance. So I stayed for a bit and got a few photos of the passing cars. I like how these turned out. I especially enjoy the colour contrast between the car's headlights and the general atmosphere. Then I walked up to the road and couldn't hear any cars coming, so I thought I'd take the chance and get a photo on the road. Here it is. I think it's beautiful. It feels so empty, quiet and in a way peaceful. I walked on a little and the road still seemed pretty quiet, so I went onto it again to get the same shot, but in the other direction. This one however is worse than the first one I think, I don't like that smaller road coming from the left, and overall the first composition just felt better. Then I was walking next to the road and heard a car coming from behind, so I prepared to shoot and got this shot here. At this point I already had a lot of these passing car photos and I think this is not particularly one of the better ones. What is going on here? Next, I was looking for something interesting at this pond to my left and thought that the hut on the other side could work well as a subject. And indeed, I think this photograph worked out pretty well. I like the potential for a story it holds. Then I got yet another photo down the road and this one is beautiful. I think one point that makes these compositions so interesting for me is how the road gives me as the viewer these leading lines which slowly fade away in the fog and are therefore leading into uncertainty in a way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what is this? Around the pond I found this little shed which I decided to frame in a photo. Turned out quite cool. Again, I think this has the potential of telling a story about this place or a person who lives here. The photo has some interesting feeling to it in my opinion. Next, I enjoyed the suspenseful look of the forest with all the fog, so I got this shot. Then I wanted to walk down to the hut at the pond, but on the way I got another shot of the little shed. I waited for a moment and had two cars drive by on the road behind, creating these orange glows in the photograph. So here I am carefully approaching the hut. I wasn't entirely sure if I was actually being impolite here, just coming up to the hut, but I really wanted to get a shot of the fishing net. Here's the photo. I think this turned out great. I love the cinematic quality of the photo. I can totally see this being a film still. After that, I began to walk across the field back in the direction I came from to head back to the car. As I was walking, something caught my eye to my left. This yellow thing? I honestly have no idea what that is, but I thought it was an interesting subject, so I tried to find a composition. Then I waited for a minute, and as a truck came driving by, I got the shot. This is it. I really like this. It's simply an interesting scene with many different elements to it. It gives me this question mark in my head asking what am I looking at here? It's nothing abstract, but at the same time I don't actually know what it is. I moved on and found this brick structure sitting pretty randomly in the forest. I got a photo of that, which however isn't all that exciting I find.
This has definitely been a good session so far. I mean, in the mist, there is no doubt that you're going to get a good photo anyway <laughs> at one point. The mist is slowly going away now. I see some blue sky coming up, so I'm guessing the day is coming to an end. It has been good so far, and I also need to check the time because I've got a college class coming up at about 10, if I remember correctly. So, turned out, I actually still had some time, so on the way home, I stopped by a few places to get some more photos. I sadly don't have any footage, the GoPro had died by then, but here are some photos from my little exploration on my way home. My last stop was at this road, going across the seemingly empty field, which looked really cool, a little dramatic maybe. So I got this running shot of me running into the void or something. Anyway, that was the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me. I definitely had some fun. I think this was an outstandingly successful shoot with far more good photos than I get on average. My personal favourites are these. As always, let me know in the comments if you agree or if you'd pick differently. I look forward to reading your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like, it helps to grow the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.